Today, I will be talking about the definition of a derivative. So, you might have seen this formula. f prime of x is equal to the limit, as h approaches 0, of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. But what does this mean? Well, the derivative, in this case, f prime of x, represents the slope of the tangent line at a specific x-coordinate. So let's draw a function. We'll call it f of x. Now let's pick a random point on this curve. How about this point? So the tangent line of this point is a line that just touches this point on the curve, but no other point. But how do we find the slope of this line? Normally we need two points to find slope. Well, we do this by choosing another point on the curve and connecting the two. This is called the secant line. Now let's do that a couple more times. You might notice that as the points get closer to our original point, the secant lines become closer and closer to looking like our original tangent line. So essentially, the slope of the tangent is the limit of the slopes of the secant lines. All right, now let's draw that graph again quickly and try to generalize this concept. Let's let x be our original point that we're trying to find the tangent line of. Now, let's draw our arbitrary point, and let's call the difference between their x-coordinates h. So, the x-coordinate of this new point is x plus h. We know that the y-coordinate of our first point is f of x. So, our x-coordinate's x, our y-coordinate's f of x. Now, our second point, we know that the x-coordinate is x plus h, because we just decided that. So, now our y-coordinate is f, of x plus h. Now let's find the slope of their secant line. So we're going to connect the two points and use the formula for slope. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the slope of the secant line is our y coordinate of the, of the second point, which is f of x plus h, minus the y-coordinate of the first point, which is f of x, over the x-coordinate of the second point, which is x plus h, minus the x-coordinate of the first point, which is x. And we can cancel these out to just get h on the bottom. Now, we wanted the second point to try and get closer and closer to our first point in order to find the tangent line, because we're trying to find the limit. So essentially, we want h to be as close to 0 as possible. So we say the tangent line f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, so h is getting really small, and then the formula for our secant line, which we determined before. And that's it. So now we know the formal definition of our derivative. We can now find the tangent line of any point on a curve. But don't worry, there's some shortcuts that I'll explain in later videos that will make this a bit easier. Feel free to post any questions in the comments, and I'll try my best to help you out. For now though, I've made two example videos that you should definitely check out, where I go over a couple of questions finding derivatives using this definition.